In this quick video, you're going to learn how to install your Panasonic soft phone. It's very easy to install, straightforward, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Also make sure that your phone dealer is running the registration process while you're trying to register your phone once you install it, or they have temporarily activated the automatic registration feature on the system. Alright, make sure you have the latest install file from your dealer, so smash that like button and let's get started. Once you've downloaded the file onto your desktop, you can double click on it to open it up or right click and run as administrator. In some cases you won't be able to install the file due to computer permissions. If that's the case you will need to contact your IT department. In some cases you will get this Microsoft Visual C warning pop up. Just hit yes because you need to install it. Eventually you'll get the Visual C install package. You can read through all that tick the box and hit install. In some cases you'll get this message pop up. Now obviously you don't know if it's working correctly, just hit yes. And then if the file doesn't continue to install by itself, you can just reopen it at the top. So if the Visual C package installed successfully, you'll get the IP software package now. So just hit next. Then there's a bit more light reading to do, just hit you accept, hit next. In this instance, I'm going to assume you do not have a compatible headset. That'll be left for another video, so just click next for now. Most likely your headset will work out of the box anyway, even if you have those three brands. Just leave the install path as default unless you really need to change it. Click install. Okay, done. Now you have that little tick box, that option to load the soft phone when Windows starts. I always untick it, but you might want the soft phone to start automatically when you turn on your computer, so leave it ticked. So now that that's installed, you might get this pop-up as well. So you need to install .NET Frameworks 3.5. So just click on the download and install this feature. If you have issues installing this feature, just contact your IT. You know, it's a great time to smash that like button while you're waiting, really helps me out. Once it finally installs, just hit close. If the software doesn't start up by itself, just go to start and look for IP and you'll see the IP software icon and just click on that. When you open the app, you'll get an IP extension type selection box. Make sure you've selected the first option, as the license is always going to be on the phone system, not on your computer. Click on the Do Not Show This Message Again box, and click OK. Then you'll be greeted by another box, asking you for the phone system's details. Your phone dealer would have told you to put the public IP address in there, or the local IP address in there of the phone system, depending if you're working from home or locally from the office. Now at this stage you might have your dealer on the phone, depending if they've set up the system to automatically register extensions or if they have to do it manually. If your dealer has set up your system to automatically register handsets, make sure they have the system secure as well. You don't want randoms registering to your system and able to make phone calls. Now if this is the first time you're running the software, you'll get the Windows firewall pop up. Just tick the boxes and hit allow access. 
If you find your handset does not connect or isn't able to make phone calls, it might be a good idea to get your IT guys to check your Windows firewall. It might be blocking the software from functioning properly. All right, so now that I've connected, you'll see the handsets in day mode. You'll see the time and date and the handset name. If you press the info button, these are the function keys. So you can configure up to 48 buttons on these handsets. So you can have BLF keys, line keys, group keys, many keys on these handsets. One of my favorite features of the soft phone is they function exactly the same as a desk phone handset. So you can have a desk phone at your office and when you're at home working remotely, you can have this on your laptop, log in and you have the exact same function keys, exact same groups. So it'll ring as if you're in your office. And not to mention when you dial out, make calls to customers, you'll be presenting your office caller ID, not your mobile or your landline at home. So the icons up here, that one is your redial. The one on the left is your incoming call log and it stores the last 20 call logs, I believe. So you'll be able to call the last 20 people that you've dialed or that have called you. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, smash that like button. The icon in the middle is your extension lists. So they're all the internal handsets from your business or that are connected to the phone system. And then this one is the system directory. This is your personal speed dial directory. Most businesses will use the second icon in the system speed dial directory because it's accessible by everyone in the business from any handset, any proprietary handset via a code or via the handsets interface. So now I'll show you how to copy and paste the number to dial. So if you're on a web page, you can just highlight the number, copy it and paste it into the soft phone and it'll automatically dial it. So I'll just open up notepad. So I'll just type any old number. So zero for an outside line. And then I'll just type, yep, whatever that number is, highlight it, press copy, control C, or you can highlight it, right click, copy. Go back to the handset or the soft phone. You can click on here, dial paste. And when you open up the little window, you'll notice that the number you're co you've copied is already pasted in the field. So make sure the prefix is set to zero if you're in Australia, because in Australia the prefix is zero, unless you've requested it to be changed to nine, like some of my customers have. International prefix, make sure it's got an extra zero in front of 0011 for an outside line. And I shouldn't have put an extra zero in front of the mobile number. Because of course, any number you copy on a website is not going to have an extra zero in front for you. You can also press Control V to paste it into the software and it'll open up that dialog automatically. You don't have to manually click on it. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my other videos guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I can help you in the next video. Thank you.